Hello, my fellow producers, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, it looks like sunny and super sentimental today for the Bulls. The moon's still full in Scorpio, your opposite sign, putting full emotional focus on partnerships, what we call LTRs, long-term relationships. Now, of course, the most important is the one to yourself. We all marry ourselves when we incarnate in the body, so you're stuck with yourself till death do you part, right? But also, this is business partnerships, marriages, etc. You are emotionally sensitive and maybe needing some affection today from those partnerships. And what the solar system is saying, remember, the real work is with your ego. We're in chapter one of your birthday period, and Tauruses this month are working on their ego. Your ego is a state of awareness, a state of consciousness that you project in front of you that is literally how you put yourself out there. It's also how you defend yourself. It's also how you sell yourself. It is kind of the formal marketing vibration or shield that we put out in the world. And sometimes our egos do not serve us well. Our egos are based on our childhood and our childhood can be something very different from our adulthood. So every year during our birthday, we give an upgrade, okay? Now that said, I said yesterday, Saturn, make some decisions about parts of your ego that are in the way. Okay, in the way, particularly in the way maybe of long-term relationships. Well, today Mars is ruling the day, so you want to take some action. Okay, you want to take some baby steps away from that behavior. So, for instance, every time your wife comes to you, you get defensive. Oh, that's your ego overreacting. Do you have to be defensive? Is that really necessary? Is she dangerous? I don't think so. That might be an ego behavior, probably designed because your mom always attacked you, so it's still on autopilot, or your dad always attacked you, so it's still on autopilot. Nonetheless, may not be so necessary. So today, take steps away from behaviors that keep, your, that keep you from having closeness to others. Now, I must say, the sun is still trining retrograde Pluto up in Capricorn, so what this says to me as an astrologer is, in order to move forward with the new shiny ego, you're going to have to think backwards about your beliefs. So for instance, to use my old example, maybe your belief is, is that women are dangerous. Sounds kind of silly, but if you were raised under dangerous women, you might have that core belief that women are dangerous. You've got to be careful and be on your guard. So you might have to change that belief in order to dismantle the autopilot defensiveness to your wife. Does that make sense? They go together. Also, it's Thursday. We have a new episode of Siddiqui Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist going live today. Going to give you another plant that vibrates on the Taurus plane, plus some great philosophy. So if you need help kind of lubricating this ego so you can change it, check out Siddiqui. She's everywhere. Soul Garden is. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for Thursday, but I'm back tomorrow with your full weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So